live so long for it all to be over sometimes, dear. War dragged oh, on year after year. I went into our ward this morning March. counting casualties. I'm going to label them what the war has done for me. Here in Halifax. I said this with my old man. Tell me what you know for sure. Something to pass on. He said, when you did, you did. Well, how come you come talk to me? Well, we're interviewing all the surviving soldiers of the First World War. Yeah, well, not much to say. I remember getting seasick on the way over. like to talk about. Why not? <laughs> Scotia, where we are right now, December 15th, 1892. In my teen years, I had a wanderlust. Moved around a bit until I got a job. Started working on a farm out in uh, Moose Jaw. I did it all. General hand and machinery, plumbing, I was quite proud of my work there, yeah. Can you please tell me some stories about the First World War? That's, that's what I'm interested in. That's why I come here to interview you. Well, you mean the good stuff or the bad stuff? All of it. I was infantry. A specialized job. I was a runner. I used to uh, deliver communication, things like that. Wore a lot of shoe leather. <laughs> oh my goodness! That should have killed me. That shrapnel. Yeah, that's... You see that? You could die from just about anything. You realize that your life depends on the buddy standing next to you. Of my cigarettes on that. This was the battalion medal, the cap badge. This is just a service medal. They'll be there after I'm dead and gone. Someone will find it someday and they'll say, oh, I wonder what this is. 
So, the other soldiers, did you make friends with them? He tried not to get too close to him. But, yeah. It's not up to me to say whether it's necessary or not. It's senseless is what it is. Kill your spirit. It's not something you need to share. need to know. Better left buried. Do you really believe that? Well, what do they learn? My father, he was God-feared, and he, uh, he went to church every week. He said, you know, he said, when you're dead, you're dead. But you're not so dead if you contribute something. That's what he said. And I think that should be the golden rule. This is just a story. I'm not George Price. My name is John Dunsworth, and I'm an actor. Because, of course, Private George Lawrence Price died with a bullet through the heart, two minutes to 11, November 11th, 1918. He was the last soldier of the British Empire to die during the First World War. He was a Nova Scotian. Yeah, George never came home. 
never had a chance to grow old. Just like 60,000 other soldiers who gave their lives for Canada.